Calaveras Big Tree State Park is 6,500 acres of mixed conifer forest and hardwood forest. This park is very loved by our community, by people throughout the nation and the world. My name is Heather Reith, and I am the Natural Resources Program Manager for Calaveras Big Tree State Park. I grew up here. I started coming here when I was a little girl and wanted to work here my whole life. When I first started working here, we could not even walk through these forests to do our surveys. The North Grove area hasn't seen fire since the early 1980s. It's past that seven to, to 15 year fire interval. We're reintroducing fire into the landscape because it's important that we come in and we start managing the forest. Prescribed fire, what we're doing is we're going in and we're trying to reduce the fuels, reduce the stand density, which is the number of trees per acre. We're mimicking what would have happened naturally with natural wildfire. This natural landscape thrives off of fire. Without fire and having a fire regime every six to 15 years, the species here don't reproduce at the level that they should naturally. We, as a partnership, work with the park folks in order to get prescribed fire back on the landscape. Planning that goes into this before usually takes years in order to really have the right time and right conditions in order to meet the goals and objectives of the landowner as well as the state. Anybody have any questions? This is the first recent entry uh, that this area has seen of, of fire and it's going to probably take two, three, four entries of, of maintaining this with prescribed fire over the course of you know the next couple decades or so. These prescribed burns are really important because they, they help to provide a buffer to the groves. So if in the case that a wildfire does get established somewhere outside of the grove, high intensity and high severity wildfire does not get established into the grove. You're gonna have benefits to the vegetative species, wildlife benefit, and then obviously community benefit. We have communities here in the area that we're trying to protect from large devastating wildfire. And in, in essence, in addition to uh, doing what we're doing for the normal vegetative species here, we're actually creating a landscape style fuel break when this project is completed. California is fire dependent and fire adaptive because that's what it's seen through a millennia of a fire history. So by having prescribed fire returning onto the landscape, we see a more resilient forest we are going to continue to enjoy those species that currently thrive in California. Our community and the park, we're better off for all this work. We've really helped to lessen our chances of catastrophic fire taking out our sequoia grove. For Cal Fire in the state, we're really increasing our pace and scale for fuels reduction efforts. And prescribed fire is just one of the tools we have in our toolbox in order to do that, to really make California more resilient from forest fires, insect disease, and drought. I actually, as a crew captain, worked on the Pine Acres fuel break in Amador County for probably a decade. And that fuel break there actually saved the community of Pine Acres twice on wildfires within the last five years. It's, it's a proven testament that the work that we're doing fuels reduction wise is working and it's valuable and it's the right thing to do for the community. The amount of work that needs to be done can only be done through partnerships. We could not do this all on our own. It's really important that we can lean on partners to help inform our management decisions and talk to each other so that we can increase this, the pace and scale of these treatments. Those partnerships are gonna to continue to grow. Uh, and that they're better than I've ever seen them. I'm so proud that I have an opportunity to be part of CAL FIRE in this environment, and this time, we're all walking the same path and we're doing it together. And we're finding ways to be solution-oriented to protect 
the people of California and this beautiful landscape. <laughs>